Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We are in Florida. We're going to go into this huge Salvation Army family store looking for purses and jewelry for resale on YouTube and eBay. So check out my YouTube live buy it nows and auctions of purses and jewelry. Hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on any of those. That way you get notified of all also daily videos that I post of thrifting. Subscribe to the channel. If you have not, if you have, thank you so much. And give a thumbs up to this video. Let's go in here and see if we can pack anything up to resale. Um, don't know if they're going to have any Halloween or not, but it's always fun to look at um, Halloween items, I think, too. But we're definitely looking for some jewelry and purses. It's so super huge store. So we'll look in this basket first. See if there's anything here. Fossil. I do love picking up fossils. Hoping it's in good condition. Have the key. Very nice. Loving it. gold hardware so we are going to get this fossil look at that we're getting that one Let's see if we can find anything else in here i don't want to mess out on anything guess i'm glad we found that fossil very first bag ralph lauren it's a good looking ralph lauren So this basket is not as deep with purses as what we've normally dug through together in the past. But it's still pretty big, but not many in there. That's a Worthington. I love my tiger stripe stuff. Love the tiger stripe, especially if it's real. A uh, real fur. Uh, my BFAF, how are you doing? So also, just so y'all know, in a lot of my live buy it nows and auctions, I've started having giveaways that are based on questions from past videos. So always make sure you watch these videos throughout because something could happen during this video that I may ask a question about in one of my live buy it nows and auctions. And the first person that answers those questions correctly first will be the one that wins the prize. So those are usually wants. So I'll ask a question about an item, or not an item, something in a video. And I'll base the winner on the correct answer that answers first. I think that's a lot more fun to do than just choosing numbers. For me, it is. What is this one? Sharif. It's a very old one. So we do have lots of purses here. Doesn't mean we're going to find something. But we sure try like this Brighton. Vintage Brighton crossbody or shoulder. The color coat is this another Brighton? Is it? I think it is. It is not.
Here's my BFF again. She pops up uh, probably mm, five times a trip. I don't know if this is bright or not. I think this might not be. And it is not. It's an imposter. It's an imposter. Oh my gosh. Again. Happened again. Ooh, now this beaded bag is cute. Got all these pink, silver, and blues. It's heavy, too. And here's the brand on this. It's Brums. B-R-U-M-S. I have never heard of that. It does not mean anything. I'll show you up close these beads so you can see. So Brums. The inside's a little bit. Needs some probably cleaning. But still a great bag, I think. Oh, look at this 1950s. Hold on. I always say that 1950s. But I think so. Look at this one. I am going, not this one. This one's pretty too. But I'm not talking about this one. I am talking about this one. I love the handle. So satin. We are getting this one probably. Look at this handle. I'm going to zoom in for you. Let me show you. So the brand on this is MM, but look at this hardware. I love the handle. See if we can zoom in a little closer. Look at that handle. Isn't that beautiful? So, gold tone, brass. So, we're going to get that. So we have a fossil so far in that bag. Okay, never heard of this one either. Look at this. How many of you ladies have heard of this brand? I'm not sure it's leather, but I've just never heard of that brand name before, so I think I'm going to pass on it. Hopefully that's not a mistake. Could be. Adrian Picard. Let's see. Look at the inside of this. Here's the brand. I'm hoping they have some jewelry in here. I don't know. St. John's Bay. Not this one. The one before that. What is this one? I don't know. I bought a uh, Michael Kors snakeskin purse a couple of days ago. It's always look like Brighton, but it's not. That is Coldwater Creek. So I started a jean jacket uh, probably a couple years ago during COVID, um, putting rhinestones and broken jewelry on it that I need to finish. So this is ask for assistance with this 
briefcase, but we're just going to kind of look at it and see. That briefcase is kind of nice. I don't see anything in there though that I want to check out. So I don't see anything in the case. I'm gonna look to see if we see any jewelry that we can't live without. I do see a brooch that's interesting to me. I'll show that to you in just a second. <laughs> Love those. Oh my gosh, look at this necklace. That is gorgeous. That is beautiful. We are going to get that for sure. Maybe. And this brooch is the one I'm talking about right here. That ring right there might be a pearl. We'll check that out also. Beautiful necklace. Kind of like it. It's BB on this necklace. I can't remember who that stands for. I love this necklace. I love it, love it, love it. And we are going to get it, get it, get it. Just look at this up close. It's a little bit of fading on the gold, but I don't care. We are going to get that. There's not a designer mark on it. I love this brooch. That is not designer marked. It's one of those unsigned beauties. And I love this ring. And that is real pearl. Look how pretty that is. That's awesome. Love it. So these are the three things we're getting from here. So we got three pieces of jewelry. We're getting this purse here that I think is 1950s. And we are getting this fossil purse right here. So that is what we're getting from this store. And I showed you those pieces of jewelry just a minute ago, right before those purses. And now we're looking at the white knots. This is very cool, even though it's not real. A decorative plat platter. I like that. I like it. We could probably use that for the Airbnb, possibly. It's not sure I have much more room for little platters. Those would be kind of cool. So we're snooping around now. We're snooping around the whatnots. I like these. How much are they? Six dollars a piece. 
These are solid wooden stars. Very pretty. Three ninety nine. Oh, this looks like it is old. I can't tell what year. Nineteen eighty. So nineteen eighty on that. Oh, there's some coffee mugs. Coffee mugs. Y'all know I love coffee mugs. That could be a question for a giveaway in the future. Just FYI. That could be a question for a giveaway in the future on one of my um, my bite nows. I love coffee mugs, but look at this one. I don't have room for coffee mugs, but I'm going to buy this one. So I'm going to show you up close. I love stars and moon and things like that. Look at this. So yeah, that could be a question in the future. What kind of coffee mug did I get today? Who knows? On the next sale, who knows? Look how great that is. I love that. Very nice. Another thing I watch for is platters. Platters for the Airbnb for holidays and things. If people are staying there and they want, you know, during the holidays or something, I think it's great to have. This one's twenty dollars. Wonder who this is made by. This platter's made in Italy. That's a beautiful platter, made in Italy. They have a few more, just a few. I like this one too. Oh, this is great. At first I thought this pan was Salad Master, but it's not. I do have some Salad Masters that I need to put on eBay. Salad Master is a great pan. Let's see if this one is. Looky here. More games. I think the game closet is already full at the farm, but I still look because I don't know. I do have Clue. I don't have any checkers. I have Mad Gab. I think the game closet is pretty full. Pretty full already. I have five second rule. Taboo I don't have life. Candyland. Looking to see if there's anything that I really would like to get. Cranium, got it. 
Ooh, what's this? Baconopoly. Okay, look at this. This is brand new. What is that bag? So this is Baconopoly for six dollars. We're getting that. We are getting that for the Airbnb. That's awesome, especially since it's called Honey House Farm. That's great. Look at all these. The voting game word jumble. Did I miss some on that other side? Puzzles I'm looking for also, but I'm looking for new puzzles. Just because I'm afraid if there's pieces missing. I have a friend that said no one wants puzzles if they've got a piece missing. But I love the Baconopoly. So, this is probably, hint, hint, my favorite board game that I've put at the Airbnb. Jenga. We're not doing Jenga. I think there would be a mess. So we did find some purses. We did find some jewelry. Got a little Lego here. If you resell Legos, that might resell. I don't know. What is this one? And the Operation Game. I haven't purchased that. I liked it as a kid, but I don't have it. Wonder if these are all new. Mm. They are. So these are all here, and that's only four dollars. So if you're wanting to put puzzles together, look at this. I don't know. Did I get that or not? That might be a question in a future giveaway. But I like that it's new. Angry Birds. Battleship was always great. Looks to be all here. So I love this game as a kid, so I'm gonna get that. Hint, hint. Might be a question in a future giveaway. Don't know. Don't know. What year is this? But yeah, I loved Battleship as a kid. That battleship's from 1998. Pug Pong. Ah. So that's it, guys. Got the Bacon Opoly game. It's brand new. Six dollars. Got Battleship. So those are going to the Airbnb. Loved the battleship when I was younger. Love this coffee mug. Got four uh, necklace, a bracelet, and a ring that you ladies saw up front. And this 1950s purse. And we also got this fossil. So that's all we got this trip.
So hit that thumbs up for the video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell, notification bell, click all. And we will see you in a next sale. Have a good day. Bye.